biggest changes that we're seeing in the ocean today uh, revolve about the increase in humans in the world. Uh, we're seeing reductions in larger fishes. Uh, we're seeing uh, toxic algal blooms and, uh, occur in increasing frequency. Oh, Rick. Rick Starr spends much of his life in a dark, cold, and wet place. We're going down to about 300 meters depth at the uh, edge of the canyon at, at near Point Lobos. Okay, we're closing the hatch. It's really exciting to be underwater in the submersible. Uh, first of all, uh, at that depth, at a deep depth, it's dark. You turn off the lights, you can't see anything. But you turn on the lights and uh, the bottom comes to life. Be underwater here in just a minute. 300 meters down in the Carmel Canyon off Pebble Beach, California, Star is counting fish. Here's the Delta submersible with Joe and Rick Star. They're over the axis of the canyon. My colleague, Mary Yaklovich, and I have been studying the deeper areas of the continental shelf off here for about 20 years using submersibles. Starr and Yaklovich are developing a database for evaluating the effectiveness of California's recently created marine protected areas. Beautiful. The marine protected areas, or MPAs, were created by the California Marine Life Protection Act. They're like national parks, but underwater. That network of marine protected areas is important because on a large coastline such as California, the habitats change, the species change, and the environmental conditions change. We need to protect a variety of areas to capture the diversity of California. California's MPAs are unique because their size and location were determined by scientific criteria. Depth is 1,200 feet. 1, Rather than just picking an area that looks good on a map and, and conserving that, uh, we have systematically surveyed the resources here in California using a lot of information from a lot of people. The MPAs are expected to succeed because protected fish grow larger and produce more eggs. And so you have an opportunity for larger, older females to uh, produce a, a lot of offspring. The MPAs also serve another purpose. We know relatively little about the ocean uh, as compared to what we know about uh, the solar system. Oh, that is awesome. MPAs allow scientists to observe marine ecosystems untouched by humans. If we keep one area of the ocean as a benchmark and its pristine condition, then we can determine whether changes we see outside that area are due to natural change or due to changes caused by humans. Which means California's oceans can now be managed on a scientific basis. I'm convinced that uh, with oceans that are managed properly, uh, we'll have uh, natural resources uh, for many millennia to come. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.